Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me For On YouTube channel. All right, a little bit of methanol in the morning. A little topper off. A little topper. Oh, yeah. Get as much weight on the nose as you can. Is that the theory? Yeah. And you got your weight bars on here, right? I got a few. Yeah. A couple of leads hanging off the front. So you're in the no time small, small tire, tire class today, right? Eight All right. Mile heads up deal, pretty much. Run what you're growing on a 275. Yeah, but you got a dude. you got a thousand dollar grudge race. Yeah, I got for the a first grudge race test ride from five down. First test it with the motor bag in it, and it's all for trailer grudge race. Yeah, no, we haven't even dynoed it or anything. So this will literally be the first hit, and you're racing for a thousand dollars. Yeah. Risky maneuver, dude. Hey, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Not gonna lie, risky <laughs> maneuver. How do you feel about it, Nate? I feel like it's gonna really. <laughs> Are you just saying that? So if it does, yeah, okay, I'm all right. Now, so if it doesn't, yeah, 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 all right. Kevin, what do you think? I think we should try to go fast. Yeah, put a little 760 boost ramp in there. This is gonna... the tune from Norwalk, right? Yeah, that's what I'm starting with. I want to get a good look at the track. I've heard some mixed reviews about radials at this track, but yeah. Get up there. We brought our radio car too, so we got another data I point know. to add into the collection. So. At least I get two classes of running because I'm in the truck yeah. class and I'm in the streetcar class. So I joined the truck class just because, you know, it's pickup truck. I want to get some more runs. And then the streetcar class is basically any streetcar, any rules. So there are some cars that can run like a 680 in that class, but everyone's got to run what the track is going to bring for today. So whatever conditions are out there, so what we're up against kind of like race week but i know there is some stupid fast street cars out here some guys that run bottom sevens high sixes that we've raced before like fl2k and stuff with ruby so might be a little outgunned in that class because we don't have the elko dialed in but i don't know we're always just going to get out there and give it our best but uh a lot of people here in charlotte yeah. so we're just freaking gearing up and selling merch change of plugs just got some new plugs in it these ones are a little bit ugly like not horrible but you know they're definitely getting coated in some fuel so got some fresh plugs in it fueled up tire pressures are checked got brand new trans fluid brand new oil change fluid in the gear vendor like went through this thing before we came out here i just wanted to change all the fluids out of it i got her dialed there but kevin's playing with the tune-up now so i'm gonna be like kind of just 50 50 tuning it with him so i can still stay on my page with it for race week but he can also help me kind of learn the tune. But we also made those bar changes on the last day race week, so we'll see how those do. And then James has a brand new car because he's got a whole new engine, so who knows how that thing will react. He's really sending it for a thousand bucks first round. So let's get out there, make some runs here at Streetcar Takeover Charlotte, and uh, have some fun. Sounded like it made a lot of moves too. Sounded good. It was like seven pounds. Probably where I want to be. It might be a little spicy. We didn't look at the track. Yeah. All right, so we're just trying to make sure the bump works because now that we're in actual competition, you know, race week, you just run on your own. You're going for your best times. Here at Streetcar Takeover, we're going to be heads up. So I'm going to have to bump into the light, you know, build boost and then bump in. So I want to make sure the bump is good in the pits before I get up there and botch a run and lose. But we get one qualifier, I think, maybe two. Is there still bug residue? Oh, there is bug residue on my turp ski. Freaking hey, dude. Still got the uh, fingerprint though. John Force fingerprint. John Force fingerprint. All the extra horsepowers. All right, so we're gonna top off trans fluid. And are you good with that? You think it's gonna work? Yeah, I made just a little adjustment to try to tame it down a little bit more. Sweet, the tire covers. Oh yeah. Gotta Zach's cammed up. Days. First day filming drag racing? Yep. How you feeling? Feeling, uh, feeling A lot good. of pressure, dude. Yeah. Don't don't let everyone down. Oh no, I won't. Hey guys, if the filming's bad in the video, it was yeah. Zach. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, Zach stands up against his Mustang, thousand bucks. Wow. Spit a little bit of fluid out of the gate. Damn, 
down. Looks like James went up and just freaking extended and then piled over. Nate, what happened there? Ran out of travel. They ran out of travel, right? Like, ha! You can see it was starting to go and then just knocked the tire off the side. Right? Knocked it right off. This it's situation. It's ridiculous. Uncalled for. Don't stand for it. No. It's... You crank up the boost for the extra loss. It looks so much better with the hood. Dang it. I like the hood. But you know, I'm. I like my car's pretty. So. Well, now it just gets to show off all your pretty work. That's true. The work under the hood does look good too. So a lot of that's at least. Cool. right here where the green separates from the blue that's the rear tire spinning and then the front tire slowing down we were pulling some serious g's and then it just drops right where the tire spun so it actually spun way before the 60 foot that was gonna be a really good 60 foot if it made it that far but it only made it about a second into the run before it spun kind of looks like the rear extension is yeah. kind of reaching its peak so if we soften that up and let it okay. continue to pile itself into All the right. ground so guys, Kevin and I are doing a tandem tune here where he's looking at the data and then I'm kind of making changes while looking at the data with him so that I can make the changes and understand what I'm doing. He's kind of giving me some guidance. It's working out good. Yeah. So, like literally we spun at the exact same point on the track. That's what I said. First thing after the video, I was like, like yeah. I softened that range up just a smidge. Just brought the boost down. Just smoothing it out a little bit in here. It was a little bit more of like an upward curve and I just kind of laid it over. All right guys, so we're gonna loosen up the suspension a little bit, get this thing to move a little quicker. And other than that, the tune-up has 100 RPM more on the starting line at the very start. Trying to get that tire under it. But uh, honestly, from the looks of it, from more opinions that I've got today and Ty looked at it yesterday, I think we're gonna actually have to relocate the bars on the rear end, some actual fabricating and move and move the mounting points so that the rear end is working properly. Just after looking over everything, getting all these opinions, we think that the rear end is limited by the way that it's mounted right now. So we might move that after, but I think what we can work with today is definitely there. And uh, we'll try our best, get it done. We're back up here. Second test pass. First one obviously didn't go so well. Not only did I lose the grudge race, but also had an injector stick. Uh, got it all fixed, uh, made a suspension change and softened the tune up a bunch. We, we just gotta get down, get some collective data. Hopefully everything else cooperates and uh, we can get a you know, a decent time. Um, car feels good. Feels like this motor's making a little bit more power than the last one. Not a whole lot's changed, it's just fresh. Did upgrade the wrist pins and it's got a new set of pistons in it. Um, 
Outside of that, it's the same spec, same motor, same cam. So it should um, run close to the same, if not a little bit faster than it was. So we'll see how that goes. All right, we're gonna see what James can do. Just got the injector cleaned out. See if we can make it down the track. parachute launchers out. That's why there was no air in the system. We're running one parachute. We don't need two here anyway. Right enough to shut down, but I damaged my Motion Raceworks parachute launcher. 
So looking cool. I ended up damaging not only my parachute cable, because I had the cable mount, so I ripped the cable for the launcher. And then I tore the launcher clean out the car. All right, guys, so the data looked super good. It uh, the intake air temps did get a little hot. Our intercooler wasn't able to keep up because we sat in the lanes for over an hour. So all of our ice had melted. So the intercooler got hot, pulled timing out. That's why it only went 183 mile an hour. So we, uh, we're gonna ice it really good this time. This is gonna be our truck class qualifier right here. But uh, Kevin just wanted to add a little bit of boost down low and let's see if we can sneak it into the 50s. We're adding one compression click to the rear, try and slow down the compression just a smidge and go rip it again. We're all right, guys, we're up here for first round of eliminations. Chip draw, I drew the same guy I just had my test in against. We can just duplicate that run we just had. We should take home a W for this round and go on to the next. So uh, let's see what we can do. Fire me up, Jackson. <laughs> bed how many street miles you put on your truck in the last week let's see 800 oh i got you covered oh come i got 1300 miles last truck. week yeah. it's a truck dude a good, a come on already. yeah dude come on they're all saying it's not a truck what do you mean i can't run with these boys say dude there are some fast trucks dude i got a guy on all slicks <laughs> Dude, fire me up. Woo! Racing a four wheel drive truck off the rip on slicks. Or he's on radials. close to where I've, I've gotten it before. But I mean, dude, it was rolling all the way until, where did it spin? Right there. 1.7 seconds in. Yeah, the boost is not climbing real aggressive or anything. But man, it went so fast to the 60 foot, it felt awesome. And then- What was it? Was 122. Okay. It's the best it's had yet. Dude, that's, that's starting to get down there. Like, I think you still lean on it harder here, but if we're looking at our front shock travel, yeah. I think we need to draw that out longer. So this is upside down, guys, but that's the front end rising and then it's hitting the limiter. So you want to drag it out longer by tightening the front? Yeah, I want to make this longer so that you hit it with more power here and it still has usable front travel. One of my theories is if the front end is on a limiter and there's more power coming in, well, it either spins or it wheelies. Okay. And So and you want to tighten the front? What, yeah. three clicks or I'd something? Say three. Three yeah. clicks, and then you want to hit it with more power right here? Yep. Like, what do you think, like 1.2? Yeah, I'd raise those, you know, two. I'd, I'd even maybe tickle your launch RPM, like, because you see how your G is, well, yeah. let's look. Well, I went, I went up 50 RPM on that one. Okay, I'd say another 50. Damn, we were leaving on almost 10 pounds of boost. Yeah. Fire me up. So I'd say try another 50, and then maybe do the tickle the dome pressure with one or two pounds. And then past, 
like where it's man, that's really starting to look good. That big long G. Yeah. That makes that that makes cars fast. Okay. All right, I'll mess with it. And then we have to go up and run full quarter mile for the first round of Street Racer. All right, guys, so we're up here for round two. Uh, this no time class, small tire, it's a chip draw. And an uh, odd number of cars, and I got lucky enough to draw the buy for second round. So uh, still going to make a pass, made some changes to try to get the wheelie out of it. We'll see what it does, a little bit of weight, a little bit softer, turn up on the lead, and it hopefully it stays down and goes back. Pretty solid pass and went out further before it did try to wheelie, so the weight did help. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to put a little bit more though. Uh, air got better, so we obviously picked up power. Curious to see what it ran though, because it felt real strong. Um, definitely just probably gonna leave that tune up in it again. As far as that goes, as a good test pass, anytime you can get a buy run in the middle of a race, you always gotta capitalize on it if you need it and get all the collective data you can. All right. So for those of you who are OGs, you'll remember this S2000, I raced him in Leroy like years ago, and he beat me, and I titled the video, I lost to a Honda. Well, it's got a Turbo LS in it, but we're racing him first round, so what a throwback. And this, can this be the video of not another Honda? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nate, you remember the video? Remember the video like years ago that was like, I lost to a Honda? Yes. That was that Honda. This one right here? So I'm about to it up. <laughs> For the shift yeah and then again right at the top of the gear yeah i heard it but i stayed in it freaking losing cylinders dude yeah, i think it would have been his best run yeah because it dropped it right after the shift where it's accelerating hard that yeah. should have been a high 50 i think so Ooh. all right get it we gotta run just to the eighth on this next one so if you want to try something spicy okay try something spicy it went a 489 or 498 okay it went a 498 so let's see if we can get a 490 or 489 you want to try a little little mild sender or goose it brother come on we got nothing to lose in there all right guys we're literally sitting three pairs back kevin's over here in the passenger seat tuning and we're up against the f-150 lightning kevin how's the tune up looking give me some uh give me some ignition there right. it's gonna go or it's not we'll see Spicy, so should should uh, be prepared for it to spin about 1.8. Okay. <laughs>
talked about this. Kevin told me earlier today, he goes, it's flaring on the ships pretty bad. And we didn't address it. There wasn't much we could do. It's flaring on the shift and banged it in a second and just broke the freaking input shaft. I'm not even mad though. All right, you guys know why I'm not even mad is because we put over 2,000 miles on this car in the last two and a half, three weeks, towing a trailer, making passes at every track in the freaking Midwest, and we just now broke it. Because, I mean, honestly, probably lack of maintenance, and the good news is, this is probably a good thing because now the transmission will come out and get fixed, because I probably wouldn't have pulled it out just for a flare in the shift. I probably would have kept sending it, so now that it's broke, I have no choice but to pull it out and fix it properly. So, plus I think Kevin kind of wanted to change the converter, so this, you know. Maybe this will give us an opportunity to take the car down, actually work on it instead of just continually sending it because it's on its third weekend in a row and it's been taking an absolute beat down. So I'm not even mad. Let's go back, watch James run and uh, finish off the day. Unfortunately, there's only 15 minutes left in the day until the track hits curfew anyway. So wouldn't have finished either of the classes, but at least we got to make a bunch of runs today by joining two of them. I had a lot of fun. It's fast pass on this gear, so. Break into the 50s soon. Just got to get that trans fixed. Of course, you got the baddest MF in the class. I got this. <laughs> hey, go get him, brother. I broke my input shaft. Come out. So, James got Bowser, which is definitely the fastest car in the class. But they weren't going to finish anyway. So, this would have been the semi finals. See what our boys got, dude. Let's see, hopefully, in that thing ripped. That thing's nasty. That's a, nice. one of the fastest no-tie small block nitrous car in the country. <laughs> in the world. Yeah, it's, <laughs> that's, a bad, that's a bad boy right yeah. now. But they popped last time. They didn't prep. We got better odds this way. So we'll see what yeah. All right. All right, guys. So we're down to the semis. Or the round before the semis. We're down to five cars. And I drew the fastest guy in the class right now. Bowser. Boy Ryan McCain. Cool dudes. Nitrous car. Alright guys, well, not much you can do about that. That thing is super nasty, but I'm freaking fired up. We had a great time here at Streetcar Takeover Charlotte. I think that's the end of the event. I don't think they're finishing out some of these classes. I don't think they're gonna get to uh, finish out all these classes. Yeah, they're wrapping it up right now. So at least we ended with a freaking bang, dude. James got to race the fast car on property and I got to break my transmission. That's a wrap for Streetcar Takeover Charlotte. Thanks for watching, dude, for the hill. We'll freaking see you later.